Taylor Allison Swift, born December 13, 1989, is an American singer-songwriter. Her narrative songwriter, which is often inspired by her personal life, has received widespread media coverage and critical praise. Born in West Reading, Pennsylvania, Swift relocated to Nashville, Tennessee, at the age of 14 to pursue a career in country music. She signed a songwriter deal with Sony slash ATV Music, publishing in 2004 and a recording deal with Big Machine Records in 2005, and released her eponymous debut studio album in 2006. She explored country pop on her second and third studio albums, Fearless, 2008, and Speak Now, 2010. The success of the former singles Love Story and You Belong With Me on both country and pop radio established Swift as a leading crossover artist. She experimented further with pop, rock, and electronic genres on her fourth studio album, Red, 2012. Her fifth, the synth-pop album 1989-2014, effectively transformed her status from country songstress to pop star supported by the Billboard Hot 100 No. 1 singles Shake It Off, Blank Space, and Bad Blood. The media scrutiny on her personal life that followed largely inspired Swift's sixth studio album, Reputation, 2017, which delved into urban sounds. Parting ways with Big Machine to sign with Republic Records in 2018, a move that sparked controversy over the ownership of her masters, Swift released her seventh studio album, Lover, in 2019. After consistent commercial success in the 2010s, Swift ventured into indie folk and alternative rock on her eighth and ninth studio albums, Folklore, and Evermore, 2020. Her lyricism on the two albums, inspired by escapism during the COVID-19 pandemic, earned acclaim for its nuanced storytelling. Besides music, Swift has played various supportive acting roles in films such as Valentine's Day, 2010, and Cats, 2019. She also released the autobiographical documentary Miss Americana and the self-directed concert special Folklore, The Long Pond. Studio Sessions in 2020 Having sold over 200 million records worldwide, Swift is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Her accolades include 11 Grammy Awards, including three Album of the Year wins, an Emmy Award, 12 Country Music Association Awards, 25 Billboard Music Awards, the most wins for a female artist, 32 American Music Awards, the most wins for an artist, and 49 Guinness World Records. She featured on Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Songwriters of All Time, 2015, placed 8th on Billboard's Greatest of All Time Artists list, 2019, and appeared multiple times on power rankings such as the Time 100 and the Forbes Celebrity 100. Named the Woman of the 2010s Decade by Billboard and the Artist of the 2010s Decade by the American Music Awards, Swift has been recognized for her advocacy of artists' rights and women's empowerment in the music industry. In 2020, Swift released two surprise albums with little promotion, to critical acclaim. The first, her eighth studio album Folklore, was released on July 24. The second, her ninth studio album Evermore, was released on December 11. Swift wrote and recorded the albums while in isolation during the COVID-19 pandemic. Working with producers Jack Antonoff and Aaron Dessner from The National, both albums feature collaborations with Bone Iver, and Evermore features collaborations with The National and Heim. Swift's boyfriend Joe Alwyn co-wrote and co-produced select songs under the pseudonym William Bowery. The making of Folklore was discussed in the concert documentary Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions. Directed by Swift and released on November 25th. Described by Swift and Dessner as sister records, both albums embrace indie folk and alternative rock, departing from the previous upbeat pop releases. In the US, Folklore and Evermore were each supported by three singles one to mainstream radio, one to country radio, and one to triple A radio. The singles in that order were Cardigan, Betty, Exile, featuring Bone Iver, and Willow, No Body, No Crime, featuring Heim, Coney Island, featuring The National, respectively. In Germany, Folklore was supported by another single, The One. The lead singles from each album, Cardigan and Willow, debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100 the same week their parent albums debuted atop the Billboard 200, making Swift the first artist to debut atop both the US singles and albums charts simultaneously.
Both albums sold over 1 million units worldwide in its first week, with Folklore selling 2 million. Folklore broke the Guinness World Record for the highest first-day album streams by a female artist on Spotify, and was the best-selling album of 2020 in the US, having sold 1.2 million copies. Swift was 2020's highest-paid musician in the US, and highest-paid solo musician worldwide. Following the Masters controversy, Swift released the first re-recording of her back catalog, Fearless, Taylor's version, on April 9, 2021. The re-recording of her 2008 album Fearless peaked atop the Billboard 200, becoming the first re-recorded album to do so, and was preceded by three of its tracks, Love Story, Taylor's version, You All, Over Me with Marin Morris, and Mr. Perfectly Fine. Love Story, Taylor's version, the re-recording of Swift's 2008 single Love Story, made Swift the second artist after Dolly Parton to have both the original and the re-recording of a single at number one on the Hot Country songs. Swift released Wildest Dreams, Taylor's version, the re-recording of her 2015 single Wildest Dreams, on September 17, 2021, after the song gained traction on the online video sharing app, TikTok. The second re-recording of her back catalog, Red, Taylor's version, the re-recording of her 2012 album Red, is scheduled for release on November 12, 2021. In addition to solo material, Swift featured on the single Gasoline, from the expanded edition of Haim's 2020 album Women in Music PT3, and two songs, Renegade and Birch, from indie folk band Big Red Machine's 2021 album How Long Do You Think It's Gonna Last? Swift will appear in David O. Russell's untitled film project. At the 2020 American Music Awards, Swift won three awards, including Artist of the Year for a record third consecutive time. Folklore won Album of the Year at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, making Swift the first woman in history to win the award three times. In May 2021, Swift was awarded the Global Icon Award by the Brit Awards and the Songwriter Icon Award by the National Music Publishers Association. Taylor Allison Swift was born on December 13, 1989, at the Reading Hospital in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Her father, Scott Kingsley Swift, is a former stockbroker for Merrill Lynch, her mother, Andrea Gardner Swift, Nathan Lai, is a former homemaker who previously worked as a mutual fund marketing executive. Her younger brother, Austin, is an actor. She was named after singer-songwriter James Taylor and has Scottish and German heritage, some of her antecedents worked in the music industry. Swift's great-great-grandfather on her father's side was an Italian immigrant entrepreneur and community leader who opened several businesses in Philadelphia in the 1800s. She spent her early years on a Christmas tree farm that her father purchased from one of his clients. Swift identifies as a Christian. She attended preschool and kindergarten at the Alvernia Montessori School, run by the Bernadine Franciscan Sisters, before transferring to the Windcroft School. The family moved to a rented house in the suburban town of Wyomissing, Pennsylvania, where she attended Wyomissing Area Junior slash Senior High School. At age nine, Swift became interested in musical theater and performed in Four Burke's Youth Theater Academy productions. She also traveled regularly to New York City for vocal and acting lessons. Swift later shifted her focus toward country music, inspired by Shania Twain's songs, which made her want to just run around the block four times and daydream about everything. She spent weekends performing at local festivals and events. After watching a documentary about Faith Hill, Swift felt sure she needed to move to Nashville, Tennessee, to pursue a career in music. She traveled with her mother at age 11 to visit Nashville record labels and submitted demo tapes of Dolly Parton and the Chicks karaoke covers. She was rejected, however, because everyone in that town wanted to do what I wanted to do. So, I kept thinking to myself, I need to figure out a way to be different. When Swift was around 12 years old, computer repairman and local musician Ronnie Creamer taught her to play guitar. He helped with her first efforts as a songwriter, leading her to write Lucky You. In 2003, Swift and her parents started working with New York-based talent manager Dan Dimtro. With his help, Swift modeled for Abercrombie and Fitch as part of their Rising Stars campaign, had an original song included on a Maybelline compilation CD, and attended meetings with major record labels. After performing original songs at an RCA Records showcase, Swift was given an artist development deal. 
and began making frequent trips to Nashville with her mother. What is your favorite song of hers? Dot. 